for fall like temperatures most of the week. Will the cooler temps stick around for the weekend, Olga? We are turning the corner. We'll take some of that cool air, bring in a little bit of warmer air. And right now I'm tracking a lot of instability across the eastern portion of the state. That has a severe th severe thunderstorm watch up. This is a general watch for the eastern half of the state going until 1 a.m. Already two very strong warned storms in the in the region. We tracked this one over Amistad. It's now moving in to Texas. Uh, that's expiring at uh, 15 minutes after the hour, but we do have a second warm, warned cell, and this one has, uh, potentially has uh, some gusty winds of 60 miles per hour. We're also seeing a half dollar size hail potential with this particular cell. It's kind of action that's going to persist for several hours, especially until we get to that sunset time. Then things should start to dial back a little bit. Overall, though, many of us are having a calm evening in and around the center portion of the state. Sore, uh, uh, in toward Albuquerque and TRC. We're in the 80s. We're definitely rain cooled off toward the north and toward the west. Today's high officially at the Sunport 80 degrees and our average is 83. So we're running very, very close to average. Maybe your plans include going to one of the high school football games. Well, tonight in the Albuquerque Metro, we're going to see temperatures comfortably in the 70s with very little opportunity for rain, but it will be a bit cool as you head on that drive home. Future track our forecast planner over the next several hours it is going to be a cool start to your Saturday morning for sure. Lots of sunshine through midday, few clouds into the afternoon, but by one or two o'clock, we'll start to see a little popping of some isolated showers and thunderstorms. By no means widespread, though. Most of us will have a lot of sunshine even toward the afternoon and evening hours. Some late night rain possibilities across Deming and Las Cruces. Then moving into Sunday morning, very, very cool. But I am tracking some rain chances and some warmer temps as we move through the extended outlook. 75 degrees we should see in Cortez for tomorrow. 79 for Farmington. Four Corners will have a lot of sunshine and very cool start in the 40s and 50s for the next couple of days. Southwest, more cloud, sunshine than cloud cover, getting up to 80 degrees for Silver City. And storm opportunities are going to ramp up on the second half of the weekend. And that's going to cool temperatures back into the 70s a bit, but still quite nice. Overall, no complaints for Roswell. 80 degree temperatures for the next two days and staying dry, but the sunshine comes back and those temperatures eventually will dial back up again. Northeast, Las Vegas, Raton, scattered showers and thunderstorms, definitely a possibility on Saturday. Saturday afternoon and evening, but overall we'll be heading into a drier trend region wide, including Santa Fe, which will see very little rain opportunity over the weekend and plenty of sunshine back into those upper 70s by the middle of next week. Let's check into and around the metro. It'll be a nice day to get out and pretty much enjoy the first half of your weekend. I am tracking some rain chances for Sunday afternoon, but not really a significant chance at 10%. This is, by the way, the last weekend for the state fair, so get out and enjoy. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, sunshine, average temperatures, but next weekend we start fall.